Well, I can't forget this evening All your face as you were leaving Is it recording? All right. Okay. Why is it like backwards? Do I have to hold it with this hand? Okay. I don't like this. It doesn't matter which hand you're holding it with. What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Kat's going to visit girl without me because I have class. <laughs> oh, and she's going to break the camera as well. No, I'm not. I never. I, I would never. I okay, well, I'm going to get going. It's 3... What time is it? 37. 3.37. Um, Even though I leave in 13 minutes, she doesn't want to wait for me. That's not my business, actually. I don't want to get involved in your personal life. Bye. 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 Okay, I'm going to vlog this whole thing. Do you want the door open? Okay. I don't care. <laughs> no, I don't care. Um, I'm going up to Marine because I have to leave a lab sample. It's, lab sample? it's poop. Po spoiler alert, I have to poop. Give a poop sample. Um, Why do you have to poop? Because I have Crohn's. Like, oh, I will. You just want to be in the vlog. No. Uh. I'm gonna hurry and leave. <laughs> so. We'll have fun. Drive right. safe. Oh, I have my eight. I don't think I have enough in oh, me. I might. <laughs> okay, this is us leaving. We're leaving. Uh, where did I park? Uh, oh my god. Oh, it's over so this hot. way, right? Yeah, it's hot. Okay, so we're outside now. Um, you totally just saw the front of our house. I'm going. I'm going. Um. I have class until 7. Yeah, she has class till 7. Um, I am just gonna go. I actually do. That was not a story that I made up. I actually do have to go give a lab sample She's now that I think lying. about it. I was not lying about pooping. I would never lie about pooping. Um, but then I'm gonna go to Veggie Grill and get some veggies. I'm really bad at holding this camera. I yeah. don't know how it you works. Why is it like not backwards? Even using the handle. What do you mean? Why is it backwards? Because it's backwards because you're turning the screen around, so it's gonna show the opposite. Way. Yeah, I don't like that because I don't know. It's whatever. not gonna show up like that. Well, I don't like it because I can't like get my face in the right place because it's like I'm off I the wrong that's side your of the screen. Problem. Okay, bye. Why are you walking that way? Because I it. It's okay. Whatever. Um, okay, so Sophia just, like, crossed the street for no reason at all. Oh, I hate her. So, yeah, just walking around vlogging. People are walking by me, and they're gonna think I'm really weird. But, um, it's fine. I don't think that girl even noticed, honestly. Um, that guy's, like, vlogging, too. No, he's not vlogging. He's, like, talking to someone. Here at my car. Here at my car. <sighs> Oops. Oh, it's like a million degrees in here and it smells like weed. <laughs> I don't know where I should put the camera because I don't really like it there, but um I don't I don't want to hold it. It's very dangerous. And I don't really want to leave it there because I feel like it might fall out the window. Yeah. Is that? I don't like that either. Whatever. I pray that it doesn't fall out the window. Because Sophia would kill me. Should I do a story time? I don't really have many stories. Um, <sighs> it's really nice out. Oh my god, I see Christina. Our roommate that we were just talking to is like in front of me now. Hi, Christina. She's going the opposite way of me. Bye. I don't think she even saw me. Nope, she didn't see me. We're right near school now and I don't see Sophia, so she must already be inside of her classroom. Which is funny because she was so paranoid about being early, but now she's way early. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, I know. Do you know what I'm gonna play, Sophia? You know what I'm gonna play. I'm not texting and driving. I always put my phone down.
one done before I start moving. Okay, um, so I just got to Veggie Grill, um, and yeah, I'm gonna go inside now. Um, I feel like I'm actually not gonna make it uh, to do my uh, sample giving thing because I think they close at five today and it's like 4.24 right now and um, I know it's gonna take me longer than like five minutes to eat and do everything, so. Oh well, that is for another vlog, so. Um, I hope you enjoyed that montage of me driving to get here. So um, I'll see you inside Veggie Grill. Okay, so in a probably not very surprising uh, turn of events, I was too embarrassed to film in Veggie Grill. Someone's just parking next to me. That's great. Um, but I did go to Veggie Grill, and I have pictures from what I got. I got the new from their spring menu it was like the steakhouse barbecue burger or something and it came with the beyond burger patty um but i don't like the beyond burger patties just because they're too like freaky and realistic like they're they taste fatty oh my god you know, I don't care, um so i got it with the like fried chicken patty instead and it was by far the best meal i have ever had out of veggie girl um so yeah, I have pictures of it. If we can figure out how to like insert pictures of things into videos, I'll do that here. But if not, um, well, I still got Sophia her, um, she wanted to try the Kung Pao, I think that's what it's called, the Kung Pao fries from the spring menu. Um, I, I haven't looked at them yet, but they sound good. So there's that. Um, yeah, now I think I'm probably just gonna go home because I don't really have anything else to do. Oh, actually, I might go to Brandy Melville because there's a Brandy Melville um, pretty close to where I am right now. And I always love going to Brandy Melville. So, yeah, it's a really great vlog so far. Um, so I'm just gonna go to Brandy Melville now and then probably just drive around. Okay, so I actually just thought of a story time. It's not a very good story and it's not very long, but um, it's something for me to talk about. So um, I just passed by this place. Um, I'm not gonna say what it's called. I don't know. Maybe they would like get mad th of about like what happened or something. But anyway, um, it's this like bar slash grill slash like hangout spot. Um, it's not really like a like club like a bar for like younger people, um, but. Um, when I used to live in the city that I'm currently in right now, um, my friend who I used to live with, um, would always, like, want to go, and she'd, like, always go with, like, um, like, some of her other friends and stuff, and I would go a couple times, but one night in July, um, this was, like, two summers ago, um, we went out, I think it was after work, I, like, I think we both gotten off work, and we went out, and they have like a parking lot like attached to the club because I mean we're not like in a city right now it's like you know more spread out town thing so they had this whole like parking lot around the the building and they had like a chain link fence around the outside of it because it's in like kind of a a little bit sketchy part of town um so they like you know to uh, like lock up their property at night or something I guess 
But anyway, um, I had driven there and I wasn't like drunk drunk, but I mean I had had some stuff to drink. So after um, we had like finished, okay, I'm almost at the coffee place. I'm actually gonna pause this story. So th this is a very bad story to begin with. But anyway, um, just hang on, sit on that to your seat while I order this drink. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Um, can I please have one iced Red Bull with blackberry and vanilla flavor? Blackberry and what else? And vanilla. Cool, thank you so much. Thank you. you too. Okay. Okay, so where were we? We got out one night and I had driven separately from my friend and um, I wasn't like drunk, but I wanted to sit in my car for a while before I did go to drive away because, you know, drinking and driving is not cool. Um, so I don't even know, remember what time we had left um, or like decided to leave, but um, I like went to my car and my friend got into her car and she left. Um, but I was just gonna sit, whoa. I was just gonna sit um, and like, you know, really sober up for a little bit. And I think I called like one of my other friends and I talked to him for like an hour or like two hours or something. Um, and then, I don't know, by this time it was probably like midnight or past midnight. I wish I remembered exactly the time because I feel like that would be even funnier. Um, but anyway, I went to drive away, like I turned my car on and I drove towards the entrance and they had closed the gate and locked it. And, um, there is like a sign near the gate that said like this gate locks at whatever time and then it reopens at like 6 a.m. And when I saw that I started laughing because I didn't think that, that was actually happening to me because that's hilarious and that is totally something that would happen to me. Um, and so I think I called my friend that I had been out with and I was like, hey, I'm like still not at home. Uh, guess why? And I told her and um, I actually left, a, no I remember now, I left her a voicemail and I was crying because I was like just so tired and like delirious. Um, and then I think she called me back and then I talked to her like in real time or I, I don't even remember it but I called somebody else and I talked to them and they were like, well, like do you want someone to come pick you up or whatever like, and I just wanted to sit there in my car because I didn't want to get a ticket. Like I thought for some reason I might get fined for being in there after hours. So. Basically, I tried to sleep in my car, but it was in a kind of sketchy area, like I said, and I mean, it wasn't like the kind of sketchy where I thought someone might break in and like, you know, kill me while I was sleeping, but it's just, it's creepy sleeping in your car in like a dark parking lot in an area that you know isn't necessarily the safest. So I think I ended up sleeping for like 20 minutes that whole time, but I remember for the last like hour and a half, I was just waiting for the sun to rise and I was waiting for someone to open the gate. I listened to like every single Neutral Milk Hotel song that was on Spotify. Um, and then I remember someone came, it was like a maintenance, like cleaning person, and they opened the gate at like 6, 6 a.m. I think, or like very close to 6, like maybe 6.30. And I was like, I started crying and I was still listening to Neutral Milk Hotel. And I kept listening and crying the whole way home. And then I got into my bed and I just, I slept for like half of the day and I was so upset and that was such a scary experience. And that is my story about the time I got locked in and slept in my car. And that's not a very exciting story, but trust me, it was pretty dang scary when it happened, so. Should I go to Target? Ugh. This is now going to be list me listening to the frights and you listening with me because I love the frights and I think everyone should listen to them.